Hello and welcome to today's video on SQL interviews using MySQL. In this video, we will give answers to some challenging SQL questions. I will be demonstrating everything in real time so you can follow along with the code and concepts. Let's begin by creating our data table. We will call it employees and it will have four columns. Employee ID, name, department and salary. I'm going to create the data with you on the video for you to understand the structure of the data and then I'm going to insert values of record. You can reach to that code from the description of the video. Now we can create our table. Database is selected here, so we can just say create table and with the name employees. We are going to say employee ID is going to be integer and primary key. Name is going to be varchar with limit of 50 and department is going to be varchar and with the limit of 50 our last column here salary it's going to be decimal with 10 and 2 and this is our code for creating our table now we can run it for creating our table i'm going to run this and now we are going to see it in here in the table section and we can see it great now that we have our table let's insert some data into it i will add five random entries to demonstrate how it works I'm going to add this code to the description of the video so you can get it from there. I'm just going to paste it to here. I'm just going to take from there and here is our code for data inserting. And I'm go when I'm going to run this, it's going to be in here. The values is going to be here. And now we can work with our data set. We can check if they are installed like we can say select sharp from employees and when we run this we are going to see the whole table and we can see our values here now that we have our table set up let's move on to the interview questions the first question is can you retrieve the names of employees who earn a salary above 60,000 and work in either the finance or sales department for this let's start by deleting this one we are going to say select name from employees where salary is greater than 60,000 and since it's float we are going to add like this and department in finance finance or sales and this is our code for this question I made a typo there on department and now we are good to go. It's a decimal but if we delete this and run our query again it's going to give the same results so it's not that important the floating part. In this query we use the select statement to retrieve the name column from the employees table. The where clause filters the results showing only employees with a salary above 60,000 and working in either finance or sales departments. Now second question, can you retrieve the names of employees who earn a salary higher than the average salary in the engineering department? For this, we are going to do select name from employees where salary is greater than, we are going to write another select here, select average salary and we are going to say from employees where department is engineering as we asked engineering in the question now we can close this and run this query for having our result to find employees with salaries higher than the average salary in the engineering department we use a subquery here the subquery calculates the average salary in the engineering department and the main query fetches the names of employees whose salaries exceed that average. But we don't have any values that is earning higher than the average engineer salary in our dataset. Because of this, it returned none entry. Now the third question. How would you find the departments with the lowest average salary? For this, we are going to use a subquery again. We are going to say select department this time from employees group by department having average salary 
is going to be echo to the now we are going to write the subquery here we are going to say select minimum average salary from and here again we are going to say select average salary as average salary from employees group by department and we are going to close this as department average and now we are going to close again and here is our code you can see we received the HR department to find the department with the lowest average salary we use a combination of group by having and sub query the main query groups the employees by department and calculates the average salary for each department this sub query then finds the minimum average salary among all departments and the main query retrieves the department that matched that minimum value by the way if there were two departments with the minimum value it was going to return two of the departments with this query in that case if you want it to return only one value you can just write limit and one here or the limit that you want now question four can you list the employee names and their department names sorted alphabetically by employee names for this let's start by cleaning here we are going to say select name and department from employees and we are going to order by name to display the employee names and their respective departments we use the select statement with the column names name and department the order by close sorts the results in alphabetical order by employee names question 5 how would you calculate the average salary of employees in the engineering department for this we are going to say select average salary as average salary from employees where department is equal to the engineering To calculate the average salary of employees in the engineering department, we use the average function along with the select statement. The where clause filters the results to show only employees in the engineering department, and the result is displayed with the alias average salary. Now question 6. Suppose a new employee is joining with a salary of 65,000. Can you write a query to determine their employee ID? For catching an information like this, we are going to say select employee id from employees where salary occurs to the six to five thousand and we can also add float or not since we don't have a floating value and we can just run like this to find the employee id of the new employee joining with a salary of sixty five thousand we use the select statement with the employee id column the where clause filters the result to show only employees with a salary of 65,000. Question 7. How can you find the highest salary among all employees? For this, we are going to say select maximum salary as highest salary from employees. To find the highest salary, we use the max function along with the select statement the result is displayed with the alias highest salary for clarity question number eight can you update the salary of the employee named jane Smith to sixty thousand dollars for this we are going to say update employees set salary occurs to the sixty thousand and we are going to say where name occurs to the Jane Simmet. This is the updating code, but since my SQL is opened in safe mode, it didn't run, but it's no problem. It's the code that you need for this task. To update the salary of the employee named Jane Simmet, we use the update statement with the set clause to modify the salary column. The work clause ensures that the update only affects the record where the name is Jane Smith. Now question number nine. How would you remove all employees from the 
HR department. For this, we are going to say delete from employees where department equals to the HR. I'm not going to run this because I'm using the SQL in the safe mode. It's not going to work. Oh, we can just see it. it it's going to give me error. Let's close this bar. But this is the true code. To remove all employees from the HR department, we use the delete statement with the where clause. The where clause specifies the condition that employees in the HR department should be deleted from the table. Question number 10. Suppose the company wants to give a 10% raise to employees in the sales department. How can you update their salaries accordingly? For this, we are going to use update again. We are going to say update employees table. Set salary equals to salary multiplied by 1.1. This means 10%. It's same as this. We can just use like this where department equals to sales. To give a 10% raise to employees in the sales department, we use the update statement with the set clause to adjust the salary column by multiplying it 1.10. The where clause ensures that only employees in the sales department receive the salary update. That was all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more content like this, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day.